A few local football teams have their season openers Friday night. That includes the Breck Mustangs. Here's Jay Wilcox with our final training camp report for the fall. The 2016 season was a tough one for the Breck Mustangs, but they say they've emerged stronger because of it. The Mustangs had to use a lot of younger players last fall, and now they're bigger and better this season. We have a lot of young guys who are coming back with more experience, um, being us upperclassmen, getting stronger, getting faster. Um, it's just overall a great, great chemistry team. Uh, we had a lot of guys in the weight room uh, in the off season, so I think that helped a lot. Um, I just think, yeah, we got bigger guys. Everyone's a year more experienced, so uh, I think that should help a lot. We're uh, definitely more of a mature team. The lights are not quite as bright this year for them. Um, they've been there, they've done that, they know what to expect. Um, so that part of it should be, shouldn't be as uh, daunting for them. The Mustangs do have some talent, starting with 6'5", junior quarterback, defensive tackle David Roddy, a Division I prospect who is back healthy after a knee injury. Guard and linebacker Isaac Luton. Offensive and defensive lineman Ryan Stafford. Wide receiver cornerback Elijah Zachary. And running back defensive end Gavin Hopping are other key returners. The Mustangs face a lighter schedule with district reshuffling, and that's a help. We, we competed as best as we could last year. It was a little disappointing, the ending to it. But I think, uh, I guess, facing off against teams that are going to be evenly matched with numbers and just skill in general, then I, I think we can do a lot better this season. Breck took some lumps last fall, but they're ready to turn things around. Jay Wilcox, CCX Sports. You can watch Breck at Columbia Heights live Friday night here on CCX.